You guys know what to do. It's Ra. Those of you on, on YouTube, please hit that subscribe. Everyone on Facebook, you know what to do. Share, like, comment. It's Ra. It's your life experiences with Ra. And it's QOAs. Yep, it's episode 36. Wow. 36 weeks ago, I was wondering what's going to be the next question on your life experiences with Ra. Who is going to send me more questions after, after the first episode? And here we are, episode 36, with two beautiful questions that I'm bringing you guys today. But one thing before I jump on, those of you who remember the iPad, you can still share, still win that iPad. The iPad is for sharing the song, Te You Mead Remix, my song. Share it as much as you want, but so far, Sonia, you're winning. Sonia, you're in the lead, you have shared that video I don't know, maybe a thousand times probably. You did great, Sonia, and so far, today is what, the 23rd, and you're winning. So, we still have some more days, everyone. Keep sharing the song. Like, comment, tell your friends about it. Those of you who haven't seen Testimony Tuesday from yesterday, go back and look at it. How is everyone doing tonight? It's Ra, and you know I love to bring you all the best. So we have two amazing questions that I chose tonight. So I'm going out to party. See, we're always living this life. Life is meant to live. So I'm going out, so I'm pressed for time. So I'm just bringing you guys two little questions that I really popped in here. And it's a big topic. It's a really big topic, especially the first question is really huge because it can go anywhere. And I will answer this in the ways I think possible. Rasters, yep. There we go. Hi, Marissa. And you know you guys supposed to hashtag Rasters. You know you are my rasters, alright? Those of you on my Instagram knows you gotta hashtag rasters, alright guys? So, if you're married, should you involve your mother in everything? Whoa, that's a tough one because you get a lot... Over, over the times I've been doing pujas and doing prayers to people and doing whatever spiritual stuff for them, a lot of times, a lot of relationships that had problems... They would come to me and they would hear where the mother is involved. But then you would hear in certain instances where mothers are the one that stand up within their children's relationships. So I would go with answering this in my way. You don't want to get your mother too much involved in your business, in your, in your, in your personal affairs with your husband or wife or whoever it may be. All right. But then again, how it is, the person who sent the question, and I want to answer this for you, because you, this is particularly your question. After having a conversation with you, I would tell you that your wife has equal rights. And if it's her thing where her mother, this is her part that she's accepting, or whatever she wants a favor, or if, if the house and land and bills and everything is split evenly, and she likes where she knows her mother been there with her tick tin, even help you guys get that house or whatever it was. I think you should hear and let her mom have an input just because of the situation that you are in. All right, that is my little take on it. You, I, I mean, I went in depth with you with this, but I wanted to answer this question on here. You have to give it a chance, basically letting your mom get her input because that's, that's the daughter's part of it. All right. That's what she wants. She wants her mom to be involved in this project. So you have to give her a little bit of a take in it. But between a husband and a wife or two husbands or two wives or, or whatever the couple may be. Or whoever you are and you're in love and you're married. Well, basically it's married. That's a question. You're married. Personal affairs, I don't think you need your mom to be. No matter how much your mom has done for you or your mother has done for either boy or girl. Now, I know I would have moms on here going to disagree with me because they would have it. They would agree to the fact that they wouldn't want their mother-in-law to get involved with them, but they want to hear what's going on in their child's life or they want to be part of their son or daughter's life even though they are married. All right, so please don't get mad with me, but yes. If no matter what you do for your children or whatever, it doesn't mean to say you have any children. Don't mean to say us. We have to take our mother to have her to be part of everything or involved in our business. So I would just go with no on this. And from personal experiences from my past, I would definitely say no. 
especially bedroom stuff or stuff that's going on that you're private with, even amongst your kids or your children or whatever it is, I think you should just keep it between you guys and don't involve your mom. So that's my thing. And guess what? This is a question we are taking to the public. I've been saying we're taking to the public. Who have seen so far, do you prefer a gay son or a dead son? How many of you have shared that video? It's, it's not just my opinion anymore. It's not just my answer. I took it to the public in Cancun. There was someone from Liverpool, someone from Morocco. There was someone from Peru. There was someone from, from right there in, in, in um, Cancun. There was someone who spoke out from Montreal. There are people speak, who give their opinion and they're right here in New York. But they were hanging in Cancun having a fun time. And let me tell you something. They're all answers were different. Did you hear my good friend Tyler? He give his part about it. Who cares if Malcolm X or Tupac Shakur was gay or something like that. But they brought great things to society and to us. Who would care now? They're dead. But who would care what would they have been if they're lesbian or gay? Nobody cares. It's the importance of the person. You live your life. Go back and look at it and share that video. It has some really nice inputs in it. All right. As I said, I don't want to be on too long. And I'm trying to drop this as well on my Instagram. So those of you, again, just want to say a shout out quickly to everyone online. Um, Sal, Marissa, Sadia, Shivanan, uh, Baste. Hey, Auntie Baste, how are you? Damien, and all those of you who are logged on and they didn't hit that like or hit that invite, and I can't see you. You're not my friend on Facebook, and I can't see who you are logged in. Good night to all of you. And the next question, which I really love, this question I really, really love, and I think, Marissa, you're going to love this question as well. Can you explain to me, Ra, why some people call their animals or pets their child? Now, the reason why I grabbed up of this, this question really fast, I grabbed this question really fast because I have a pet who is my son, is my child. I don't care what people think or how you, you have to really love your, a pet or your dog or your cat to understand. Look at Anna. She goes crazy for her cats, right? Shane right here. I'm right now. I'm, I'm being hosted with by my aunt. We're having QAs from Brooklyn Bay Ridge. So yeah. Shane, my his 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 little doggy body, he everyone loves him, and we were talking about it how he sees Buddy to be, uh, as one of the things he said is everybody tell him, go get go have a son, have a child. He brought them a child. He said, I always remember my thing on it when I brought Ace home the very first day. He was a baby, six weeks old. In my way, he was a baby for me. Right, and bring him home in the car. How he was crying, he was bawling and screaming out of control. I had to call my mom, Mom, what's going on? Why is he screaming? Now he's a doggy, right? He's a puppy, and I, I'm like calling my mom to ask her what was going on with him, right? And she was like, Rah, you wanted a baby. Look, you got one. Let me tell you something the most love, and I tell every single person this always the, the he's an animal. In some in whatever sense it is he's an animal he's a dog right and everyone will say okay he's a dog but the thing about it I will say more than any person in this world my dog ace loves me more than anyone else in this world even my mother and I would say it again and again that is so true your dog loves you you can go anywhere and come back you might go out and you'll come back and your husband or your wife will be angry with you but trust me you come back, yeah, you might smell a little dog and get jealous if someone else's dog played with you. But let me tell you something. Your dog is still going to love you. Your animal, your cat, they love you more than anything else. Trust me. And yes, if you consider them your child, I don't see that being a problem. Why? It's the affection. It's the same as having your own child. I know Marissa and I had a conversation before being a real dad for a, a baby that's growing up and whatever and to a child, a human being is different. And I know I may, I may not know to experience that because I'm not a father, but at least I am a father to Ace and I take care of him. Trust me, when anything is wrong with him, I'm worried. If he don't eat on time, if something is wrong with him, I am always worried. He's not a child. Okay, 
And let's put it this way, and please, no discrimination. What about a disabled, a disabled child? These days, there are tests where a, ch a mother can tell, doctors will tell the mother while the baby is in the womb if the baby is going to become disabled or Down syndrome or stuff like that. And these people have the choice to abort this baby or get rid of it at an early time, right? Think about my dog. Ace. He will never be able to talk to me. He cannot tell me when something is wrong with him. And I have to use my judgment of how he is, right? And if you want to get rid of your child that God blessed you with, with a disability, that's up to you. But I know that I love my Ace. No matter if I have to pick him up bodily to take him outside, I don't care when that time happens. As long he's there and he's alive because he makes me happy when I'm sad. If I have tears coming out of my eyes, Trust me, a human being might tell you a million things and you might not feel better and they would try their best. But Ace just has to put his head on my lap and he just wants you to touch him to know he's there for you. And let me tell you something, and he knows you're sad too. And just by him, just coming and doing that, you will start to feel better just by petting him or playing with him or scratching his hair, doing something and start playing with him you feel better. Trust me, if you haven't had a pet, get one. Trust me on this one. So this is why we love our pets like our own child. Yes, Marissa, no being can ever love you like a pet. That's so true. Trust me, Marissa have problems right now. She, she always want to travel and she cannot travel all the time due to the fact that she has some beautiful animals and her dogs are her children as well. So, and you know, Trust me, she has one. She calls it Golden Child Pixie. I love her. I don't ever want Ace to find out that, but yeah, I really love that little puppy. It's She's really amazing. So I understand where she's coming from, and I would never go against anyone who has a pet or saying something like that because you understand how they feel. Mahindra is saying, love my dog as much as I love my kids. Beautiful, you see that? Just like Marissa will say, her kids. Uh, her, her dogs as well are her kids. She don't even say dogs. She calls them by their names. You know, and I love this. Hi, Vernon. Um, Vion, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Again, Indira, good night. Oma, good night to every one of you looking at your life experiences, etc. That's my little take on it. And tonight, that's my answers for you guys, my opinions. And we are taking these questions to the public. Just look out for it. And it's going to, I'm sorry, the sound is very bad on on that um the questions and the opinions from cancun do you prefer a gay son or a dead son i know the song is a little bit bad but listen listen to it listen to all the interviews that we did listen to the amanda lacount interview from last week wow amazing that young girl is going to be big you guys are going to be like one day willing and looking out i should get an autograph with her ra has already met her she's amazing she's going to make it really big Go back, look at my interviews, every one of my interview, my QOAs, my Anonymous Mondays, my Testimony Tuesdays, everything has a message for each one of you. You guys know it's raw, and I love you all.